Dear students, in the previous lecture, we have studied the mechanics of rotating objects such as belt and pulley and the gears. What if there are some casting defects in the pulley or maybe the teeth of gear is broken? Due to such defects, the unbalanced force will exist in the system and because of this unbalanced uh, force, the rotating object will tend to move outward due to centrifugal force. So, from now onwards, in this series of lectures, we will be studying the balancing. How the static and dynamic balancing um, has to be differentiated from each other and what will happen if there are some unbalanced force in the system and how we can counter them. So, in this lecture, you will be studying static and dynamic balancing, the basics of balancing system. At the bottom, you can see a schematic diagram of rotors suspended on two end bearings. The axis of rotation is represented by a dashed line, and in the absence of any of the unbalanced mass, the center of mass will lie upon this axis of rotation. If there is unbalanced mass present on the rotor, then the center of mass will no more lie on the axis of rotation. Rather, it will be uh, it will exist somewhere outside. And because of this, this rotor will rotate uh, even in the absence of any of the external forces. To balance it, we need a balancing mask in a 180 degree opposite at the same location um, to that of the unbalanced mass. If we put a balancing mass into 180 degree out of um, this uh, unbalanced mass, then what will happen? The centrifugal force produced by this balanced mass and centrifugal force produced by the unbalanced mass will cancel each other and this rotor will, will no more rotate in the absence of any of the external forces. Means if this rotor is stationary, then it will remain stationary. In the presence of unbalanced mass, the rotor will definitely rotate. Sometimes we want the equipment or machinery to be static for the maintenance purpose. So if there is unbalanced mass, the equipment or rotating object will rotate. So to balance it, we need a balancing mass at 180 degree opposite to that of unbalanced mass. The system is said to be statically balanced if two conditions are met. Number one, sum of all the forces in all the directions must be equal to zero. And sum of all the movements around a point are also equal to zero. If these two conditions are met, then the system is said to be statically balanced. For example, uh, the classic example is a rotor suspended on the bearings. In the absence of any of the unbalanced mass, there will be no force um, which will compel this rotor to rotate. And similarly, there will be no movements uh, that will compel this rotor to rotate. Please note that this condition is in the absence of any of the driving or external force. If there is no driving force or no external force, then in the absence of unbalanced mass, both like summation of all the forces will be equal to zero and summation of all the movements will be equal to zero and the, un, the, the, the end result will be this rotor will not rotate anymore. It was static and it will remain static. Whereas if there is unbalanced mass then because of this unbalanced mass the summation of all the forces will not be equal to zero and then summation of all the movements will not be equal to zero. This means if there is unbalanced mass, then 
even in the absence of any of the driving force or external force this rotor will rotate to balance it we need a balancing mass we have to put this balancing mass opposite to that of unbalanced mass and the magnitude will be of same and the uh, distance from the axis of rotation will be same for example here's the axis of rotation here is the unbalanced mass so center to center distance from here and center to center distance from there will be same so this distance and this distance will be same also this mass and that mass will be same if this condition is met then this the force um, the unbalanced force produced by this unbalanced mass and the force produced by this balancing mass will cancel each other if both the forces like this force produced by this unbalanced mass and force produced by balanced mass will cancel each other then this rotor will not rotate anymore and then we can say that the system is statically balanced because the two conditions sum of all the forces in all the direction must be equal to zero the sum of movements around a point are equal to zero are met a rotating mass will consider to be dynamic balanced when there is no centrifugal force or couple is produced during rotation so rotation is key word in case of dynamic balancing if you recall your memory then in case of static balance the rotor was already on halt it was not rotating anymore but due to the presence of some unbalanced mass the rotor will tend to rotate so how we can counter this rotation we can put some mass opposite to this unbalanced mass of same magnitude so what will happen the force produced by the centrifugal force produced by the unbalanced mass will be cancelled by centrifugal force produced by this balanced mass so both these centrifugal forces they will cancel each other effect and ultimately the rotor will remain stagnant or static no more rotation so there is no connection of motor or some driving force with the rotor in case of static balancing but in case of dynamic balancing the rotor is always in rotation and this rotation is because of connection with the motor or some driving force and because of this um, rotation if there is some unbalanced force in a system then it will create a vibration and because of the vibration um, there will be some counter effect on the bearings which are supported which are supporting the shaft and also the shaft will get damaged so if the shaft get damaged the bearing get damaged then your whole system will get damaged and you have to stop this rotation of the rotor so this is totally undesirable the unbalanced force in the rotating object is totally undesirable so we have to counter this unbalance by having a similar type of philosophy that we have used in case of static balancing but here the criteria will be totally different so in next series of lecture you will going to learn how to balance a dynamic uh, system means a rotor is rotating and if there is some unbalanced mass in the rotating object such as rotor then how you can counter it so that because this unbalanced force will tend to move this rotor outward and this outward movement will cause vibration and because of this vibration your bearings and shaft will get damaged which is totally undesirable 
So we can counter this by placing a balance mass at specific location at specific distance which will counter the effect of unbalanced force.